Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a keypad lock for a door. Uh, so I made a keypad and if you think it's far down, no it's not because the wall is pretty fucking big. Yeah. So I made my door and the door should of course be start locked. And nothing else. Oh no, it's stood it. It should be nothing. And you, we're gonna name it, so I name it to a random name. And I also made this prop underscore dynamic underscore override. And then search for pre keypad, and I took one. Yeah, we can just look. Search for keypad. And yeah, it comes up here. That's the only thing, I think. Yeah, there we go and press apply etc put it on the wall and now we're gonna make the buttons for it now it's gonna make one button and then I just gonna copy the red it's on the rest so yeah there we got one button and now we're gonna copy it now we can make it a button first that's easier yeah control it press conf T, fake it fine can score button you name it a keypad button one make it flags don't move take uh, uh, take start locked and that's about it apply now we're gonna copy it So yeah, copy it on these three, and then you just copy these, copy them down, and copy them down again. So that way now we got nine buttons. Yeah, now we're gonna rename. You now this will be one. We're gonna rename every button so it fits. Oh my God, I fail. There we go, now we got all the buttons. And yeah, now we're gonna make like this. Uh, the first button in the code, you're gonna choose the code. And I'm gonna have a simple code like 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, the first uh, button in the code is 1. So then I will um, take on button, take away, start locked. It won't be locked, the first button. Yeah. And uh, yeah, when you press the first button, it will open that one. It will open that one. It and that will open that one, etc., etc. Okay. Now we make that. Now we're gonna make a logic case. Logic case. Name keypad logic case. Yeah. Okay, so um, logic case one will be reset, and now we're gonna make the code. So the first, I, I, the code I have will be one, two, three, four, four-digit code. Then you're gonna have the first case uh, two, is the first button in the code, and which uh, button it will unlock. So one, two, two. Then be two, two, three, three, two. Four and the last code, uh, the last button in the code will be four to uh, the command. You will have it like open, activate, etc., etc. I'm gonna have open since it's a door. 
doesn't really matter actually um, yes so you know you know what it is now we're gonna add uh, the reset thing on case one keep at bottom one uh, lock and you can copy and paste this yeah I don't want to uh, I don't know how many it is so you're gonna make this for every button so yeah fail yeah I made the perfect number now you say uh, well no you didn't well I did uh, this last one the tenth will be unlock the first button in the code which for me is one and yeah, you're gonna do that after one point some seconds I'm gonna have like two or three or one or four or I'm gonna have like two s three seconds okay and uh, now we will also add so when you press the wrong button a skin will flash and yeah, what is a skin well the world model uh, we can go in on it uh, if you go to class info here you see the display it will flash error that's what the skin is and you can go in on here and it on the model you can see skins skin one is that skin two is uh, I think it says access skin two is error so we're gonna have error on the, the reset thing now we go back to the case and outputs and you're gonna add on case one uh, prop keypad skin is down below and you're gonna have a first skin 2 then you can copy and paste this one then you're gonna have skin 1 after 1.2 seconds paste it in skin 2 after 1.4 seconds paste it in skin 0 after 1.6 seconds paste it in skin 2 after 1.8 eight seconds paste it in skin zero after one point no one second apply there we go uh, first it will error then normal error normal error normal it will end with normal otherwise it will have the error skin until next time it will flash it again and still have the error skin yeah we also gonna add so uh, and uh, a sound will play when you press the wrong button so I'm gonna just copy this one and you're gonna you don't have to name it so take away the name and make it a ambient generic you just have to type ambient sound name you're gonna take sound name and browse Make sure you have game sounds here and not raw. Raw is your sounds you have in your Counter Strike Source folder, and other people don't have that those sounds, so you need to use Packrat if you use those sounds. Then you can have the filter button, and yeah, I think button 10 and 11 is the best error thing. Yeah, I'm gonna take 10. Okay, apply and also source entity name. It's the name of the entity which the sound will come from. We're gonna take prop keypad, press apply. And yeah, you're gonna name it so uh, ambient. Yeah, you can name it whatever you want to. You go in on the case. So we're gonna trigger that. Add on case one. Ambient button error. Uh, play sound. Apply. Uh, 